the real practice of the label is that you know what, whatever we put into it's what we're all going to get back out of it. It's really easy for me to do it because it's all a tight knit group of people, and everyone is very open and understands that like you give what you get in this scenario. I, I've kind of spent the majority of my time as a musician thinking about what I can do to benefit myself and get myself to the next level. And I, I kind of got to a point where it's like, well, I did that and I figured out how to do it and I figured out how I can make it work for myself, but I can take that same stuff and I can apply it to other people. I Died Trying was really the second band to be signed full on that I actually was kind of sought out to work with. Uh, and I have a podcast that I do through the label too, and that's kind of opened some doors for me with having sponsors for that too. Uh, and that kind of directed me towards other bands. But ultimately, I have known of I Died Trying for you know 10 years, like everyone else in Dayton has. And that was kind of the beginning of it when I first started talking to them about it, uh, working with them. Uh, and I kind of realized, well, I can spread this out. Uh, the more people involved, the more we can do with it. More like a team circumstance. Uh, everybody kind of gets what they put into it. Uh, it's the biggest difference between what this label does versus what I feel a lot of other labels do. Uh, whereas if if I put a hundred dollars and you know, say I put a hundred dollars and ten hours of my time into something, uh, I expect the bands to put you know ten at least $100 worth of work and another 10 plus hours into what we're doing. And it works both ways. The bands are kind of in charge of their own merchandising. They're in charge of all that stuff on their own. Anything they want to do to make money, uh, money from shows, anything like that, that's all of them. They can do whatever they want to do with it. My job really is just to help, you know, send things out for reviews, to get them access to people that they wouldn't have access to otherwise. And really how that's working is there, well now there's seven bands all seven bands have, you know, three to five members. So each of those three to five people can tell someone and they can tell someone about another band and it, it just kind of spreads. One we just started working with. Um, I'm gonna count them because I'll probably forget one if I don't. Uh, well, Close the Hatch, which is the band that I'm in. Um, I died trying Ghost Fleet, Fire the Drummer, uh, Incaridian, and the Big Bad are the seven that are actually like, there are six, that's six, there's one more. Ohio Faust, sorry, which is another project that probably won't ever come up. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, I'm gonna re-release some stuff I did with a previous band, and then probably release a, an EP with them way later in the year. Uh, but my main goal this year is to just promote everyone else. I think everyone else has something coming out this year. The Big Bad has a record coming out soon, and we're promoting that through Horror Hound in a couple weeks, which will be cool. Um, and they're from West Virginia. They're more of like a horror punk, like Coffin Cats style band. Um, and Ghost Fleet's putting out another EP uh, this year. Uh, so, and I Did Trying's put out another record this year. Close the Hatch has the vinyl. Uh, with I Died Trying the Split, and then we have our own release, and then another split we're doing with another band. Uh, and I'm sure that somewhere down the line the other bands are doing something. I, I just finished mastering a record for Incaridian. So I think between what that's, all that's really, it's just going to keep me busy, unfortunately. Uh, which is good, ultimately. You thought your beauty.